NBC issuing this update. Their story on the feds wiretapping Trump attorney Michael Cohn. Now they're saying he was surveilled and that phone calls were not recorded. NBC issuing this statement. Editor's note earlier today, NBC News reported that there was a wiretap on the phones of Michael Cohn. President Trump's longtime personal attorney citing two separate sources with knowledge of the legal proceedings involving Cohn. But three senior U.S. officials now dispute that, saying that the monitoring of Cohn's phones were limited to a log of calls known as a pen register, not a wiretap where investigators can actually listen to calls. Uh, stay tuned. I'm sure there will be another report soon saying that there were calls that were listened to or not listened to and nobody listened to them. It, this is nuts. It's, a, it's accusation Thursday here in uh, New York City. A new report from The Washington Post accuses CBS, another allegation of knowing about Charlie Rose's harassment incidents as far back as 1986 and as recently as April of last year and the company's managers doing nothing about it. This as an additional 27 men, women say Rose sexually harassed them. Charlie Rose, on the other hand, denouncing the Washington Post news story, telling the newspaper, quote, your story is unfair and inaccurate. CBS stock shares in the green after hours following an earnings beat. Joining me now, Britt McHenry with The Federalists. Britt, the world has gone crazy. It's accusation Thursday. <laughs> Uh, before we get to Charlie Rose, what do you make of this NBC? You, you've got Michael Cohn saying one thing, Major Gi Giuliani saying another. You saying calls were listened to, calls were surveilled, calls were not listened to. This world has gone nuts. What do you make of this NBC, the, the fiasco? What we're with witnessing is a discrediting of the media, and no one's doing that to the media other than themselves. This is why people are losing faith in what they should be going to to know about what's going on in the world. The phrase fake news can easily be applied when several media outlets are in such a rush to denounce President Trump that they're making egregious errors. A pen register is completely different from a wiretap listening to every single word being made on a phone call. It's a log, as you mentioned. And to make that kind of report and then just say, oh, sorry, we didn't really mean that. That is what is going to lose the faith of your viewers, of your readers. And honestly, it's only going to help the president in his 2021. And, and I don't mean to cut you off, but the, the mm -hmm. difference between a pen register and a wiretap, that's not a mistake in conflating the two or confusing mm -hmm. the two, right? They're two separate things. And to rush to judgment, as we saw with ABC News back in December, with CNN when they reported on Donald Trump Jr. and WikiLeaks and had the completely wrong dates, these aren't little errors, a mispronunciation of a word here and there. These are conflating facts, and it's irresponsible journalism, and they need to do more to the public, in my opinion, than just issue a press release apologizing. They need to really take action on improving their work. Rick, Wikipedia isn't 100% correct. You just killed a bunch of school kids who no longer read encyclopedias <laughs> who do all their homework off Wikipedia. So, I want to, Charlie, I, I want to go back to Charlie Rose, mm -hmm. uh, CBS News, saying it had no human resources complaints about Mr. Rose. Mm -hmm. Also saying in a statement, quote, since we terminated Charlie Rose, we've worked to strengthen existing systems to ensure a safe environment where everyone can do their best work. Some of the actions have been taken, have re been reported publicly. Some have not. We offer employees discretion and fairness, and we take swift action when we learn of unacceptable behavior. Swift action? Uh, swift, swift action. Some of these allegations dated back to 1986, the year that I was born, 31 years ago. Now, granted, there was a different culture. Hopefully, everything we've witnessed in the past year will improve the workplace culture in media. But to Charlie Rose was going after the Washington Post. They had 107 women that they spoke to. You mean to tell me 107 records of, of firsthand accounts, other things that they've heard, that that's, that means nothing? Thing. You know, 14 women at CBS, I believe. Uh, there's something there. CBS finally handled it, but it was too late. And I think it's wrong to say, oh, we swiftly handled this when you could go back 31 years and there were these allegations. Britt, thank you for uh, making me feel very old by announcing your birthday. <laughs> hey, my birthday's coming up, so I'm getting old too. <laughs> no, you're not.